Progressive Overload, Arnold, David Lade, Jeremy Eber, Jeff Nifford, and literally every single gym enthusiast talks about how important it is. But the majority of people think it's just lifting more weight, and this isn't true. Progressive Overload comes in various different forms, levels, and variations. It's 100% essential. As a beginner, I used to only do three sets of 12 and stop at 12 reps just because my plan said so. And after implementing different forms of progressive overload, my physique has grown massively. Without this knowledge, many people end up with the same physique, lifting the same weight for months and months on end. So in this video, I'm going to break down all the different levels of progressive overload and how you can implement it within your training to maximize your gym progress. So what is progressive overload? It's a training technique that gradually increases the stress on your muscles and nervous system in order to stimulate muscle growth and strength gain. It's a key principle for improving strength, endurance and muscle mass. Without progressive overload, your lifts will stagnate or even worse, they'll decline and go down in weight. Now, before I go into how to perform progressive overload, it's important to talk about how we can prime the environment and make sure that everything's set up to best optimize progressive overload. So the prime environment for progressive overload, typically being in a bulk and calorie surplus can make it a little bit easier. However, you can still build muscle and get stronger even on a cut. You'll want to have a high protein diet too, as obviously protein is essential for building muscle and for the recovery. Pre-workout nutrition can really help too. So I'd look to focus on fast releasing carbs, things like banana, honey, rice cakes. These will give you your energy and fuel to maximize your training session. If you've got more time, you can even have a small pre-workout meal too. Other than the food, make sure that you're hydrated and getting lots of water in. This will ensure that you get the best workout and that you don't fail any exercises due to endurance and energy rather than strength. Also, sleep is very important too, so try and get seven to eight hours each night if you can. So, coming on to the main point, how do you do progressive overload? Now, there's a variety of ways that you can progressively overload. Firstly, by strength. So, this is lifting more weight, and even if you're only lifting an extra kilo or a really small plate, this can have a huge impact, and it can compound over time meaning that your gradual progress will continue to grow and grow and eventually you'll see huge progress. So don't underestimate the small plates. To do this, try to increase the weight as often as you can, provided that you're not compromising on your form and on your technique. Option two, doing more reps. So this is where I would look to increase the reps when I can't increase the weight anymore. And you can even increase the sets too. However, you want to be careful about junk volume so I'd do a maximum of three sets and a maximum of 12 reps. Number three, tempo. Now this is seriously underrated. Most people just up the weight and up the reps. They don't even think about the tempo. And for exercises like lateral raises, it's a lot harder to increase the weight and increase the reps after a certain amount of time. So this is where focusing on the tempo can help massively. So when you're doing the lateral raise and you can't increase the weight, what I would do is I would hold the movement at the top for about a second or two and then slowly start to bring it down and control the eccentric. Now this will put more tension onto the muscles and eventually over time, by doing this, you'll be able to lift more weight and do more reps. Number four, decrease in rest times. Now this is something which I don't typically do that much, especially with compound lifts, as these require a lot of energy and target lots of different muscle groups. So you actually need a good amount of rest time in order for your muscles to recover. However, with isolation movements, you can decrease the rest time. So for training arms, for example, with a bicep curl and a tricep extension, I would do a superset. So I wouldn't have any rest intervals. I'd do the bicep curls and then immediately go into the tricep extensions. And this does a lot of really good things. It reduces the amount of time in the gym. And second of all, it makes it more intense. And number five, 
intensity. Now, with your workouts, you want to make sure that you're going to failure or close to failure. And a lot of people think they're training really hard, but they're in the gym and they're chilling, they got a straight face. If you're truly going to failure, you should look like you're trying to eat the air and you should have a face similar to this. But with your lifts, you should try and go to failure or at least close to failure. So one to two reps away from failure, any more than that, and it's not intense enough. So there's all the different variations. Here's how I structure it. First of all, I'll look to increase the weight as much as possible. And then if I couldn't do that, I'd focus on increasing the reps. After that, if I couldn't increase the reps, then I'll look at increasing the tempo, slowing it down, and finally decreasing the rest time intervals. And for a visual example, here's what I'd do. Can anyone do it 10 to 12 reps? up the weight until you can do six to eight reps keep doing that weight until you can do 10 to 12 reps again and then repeat so that is progressive overload some other helpful points to note is that any progress is good progress no matter how small the increases in weight reps or anything else also make sure to track your progress and track your lifts as your memory is very unreliable myself i like to use my online coaching app where i can track back each day each week and can see how my progress is getting on and then i can see if i need to up the weight or up the reps cool so that has been the whole video and i wanted to let you guys in on something that i've been building so recently i've got loads of dms from guys who are 20 to 40 years old and struggle to pack on muscle due to their busy job so I put together a complete free guide on how exactly you can get jacked and shredded even with a super busy work schedule. And all that you have to do is click the first link in the description, fill out the form, and then I'll send over that guide to you completely for free. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the guide. Drop a like, drop a subscription, and I'll catch you next time.